Hey guys, in this video, I'll be sharing with you a quick tip. Um, so let's say a request comes in for you to color code these different measures that we have for this chart that we created. So in this chart, we have subcategory and the different measures like discount for each of these subcategories, the discounts, profit, quantity, and sales, and number of records. Um, so if we're trying to color them based on their value, usually what you would do is you would drag in the measure values onto the colors tab. And as you can see, we have each of these different measures uh, color coded, right? So, but what we're trying to go for right now is we're trying to show each of these different. So for sales, we're trying to color code on its own uh, quantity, have its own color profit has its own color based on their highest and lowest and the same thing for the different measures so what you would do to for, to color them is you're going to go to the color shelf right here you're going to right click on it and you would click on use separate legends as you can see um not much has changed right so, but if you look on the right right here you're going to see that each of these different colors have come up for these different measures. So discount has its own, number of records has its own, and so on. So for all you need to do now to color them based on their value is you would right click on this uh, color legend, go to edited colors. So discount, what we're trying to show for this one is we can pick a red and blue diverging palette. So as you can see, this has its own color now. The same thing, what we, we can do it for each of these different tabs now. So we can show them this can be orange and gold. Uh, profit, we, we're trying to show it in red and green. So you can just select the red and green diverging palette. And once you click apply, you're going to see the highest amount is green. And the lowest amount is a shade of red. You can do a little bit more customization. You can go to the step colors, go to two colors, and you're going to see that all the negative values now are in red color and positive are in green. Right. So what another thing you can probably do on this one is you can go to advance, go to center on zero. This way, if a value like one comes up, if you did not have this selected and it would show the one as a red, but since you have it centered on zero, it's going to show the red, anything below zero as red and anything higher than uh, zero as green now. Same thing, you can do it for quantity and sales. So here's a quick tip for color coding the measures based on their values. Thank you for watching. For more tips and tutorials, uh, do check out our website, passingbi.com. Thank you for watching.